to do a truly private Google Hangout. Google Hangouts is an incredibly powerful tool for doing video conferences and recording videos um, and doing live casts. So it does a lot of things like GoToWebinar does and Skype, but more, and it's free. But one of the problems has been that even if you try to do a private Hangout, like let's say you're, you wanna have a private meeting with your, with your team, or you want to have a private coaching session, but you still want to record it, um, there is a possibility that the even if you go in and do all the things that you have to do to try to make it private, like um, go in and delete the posts as they start in your G Plus stream and stuff, there's an opportunity for people to come in and see your meeting. So, but what if there was a way to get totally around that and not have to deal with all those little things that Google normally makes you do to have a private Hangout? Well, there is, and that's what I want to show you now. Here's how you do a Google Hangout that's truly private. First, you come over. Uh, this is my G Plus page, uh, but you want to access your YouTube channel. To do that, you can click on this little box up here in the right-hand corner. Click on YouTube, and that will bring up your YouTube channel. And then the next actually brings up your, your YouTube page. The next thing you want to do is click on my channel over here on the left hand side underneath what to watch underneath the YouTube logo. And when I click on that, that will bring up my channel. And then the next thing I want to click on is right here, right above, see where it says Doug Green Video above the Doug, there's a icon and it says Video Manager. So you click on Video Manager. And then this is where you can manage your videos, access any of the ones you've made. Um, but what you're interested in doing is coming over to the, to the left-hand column again underneath, see where it says Uploads, and then there's a, um, there's a button here for Live Events, and you want to click on Live Events. And that will bring up this page. Now you go over here to the right-hand side, upper right-hand corner, and see where it says New Live Event click on that. This is how you're going to actually access creating a truly private Google Hangout. So here we are, create a new event. Um, we need to give it a title, so I'm going to call this private Google Hangout Test 2. And then the key thing here to make sure you don't get seen is there are three options in this drop-down right here. They are public, unlisted, and private. If you make it public, then people can see it. It will show up somewhere in the Google sphere. If you click on unlisted, then if somebody has the URL, they can get in it, but there won't be any notices out on Google. So this is pretty safe. But if you want to make it truly safe, you go to private, and then you can add names and only the people that you actually give assign rights to, to be able to come in and look at it, can look at it. So for now, I'm not even going to include any names. The next thing you want to do is, after you've created it, I'll make this private or unlisted, is in the right-hand corner, you go to Go Live Now. And you click on that, and that will actually start up the Hangout. You'll have a button here that says Ready to Go. Make sure everything's OK. Click OK. And now it opens up a new window for starting the Hangout. And this will take a while to load, so I'm going to turn off the, um, I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back once it's loaded. And so now you can see that the Hangout has actually started and I'm talking to you through my webcam actually being captured by, um, by Camtasia. So this is kind of a recording of a recording, so that might be a little slippery, but you can, you get the idea here. Um, you can see me in the video screen right there, <laughs> actually right there, I guess. And um, now here's what you do uh, to record it. So now I'm talking and this is actually all being, um, we actually haven't started recording the video yet. To do that, so you actually have a copy that you can come back to, you click the Start Broadcast button right here. And then you click OK. And now it's starting up the broadcast. And now we are live. So if you had made this unlisted, you could copy the URL up here on top and give this to somebody and they could come in. That might be what you would do with a coaching client. Or you could invite somebody right here and um, either give them this URL or write down their name in this box right here where it says send an invitation. 
but I don't want to do any of that, so I'm going to cancel this. But actually, right now, we are recording a video to YouTube that um, I can later go in and edit or do whatever I want with. So now to stop the recording part, but not the Hangout, just the actual recording that's going to go to YouTube, I come back to this Stop Broadcast button, which is right... This is interesting. Right there, as you can see. And when I click that, that will stop the broadcast. And then to end the Hangout itself, I click on this button right here where it says Leave Call. So when I click on that, it will end the Hangout. And that is how you do a Google Hangout that gives you complete privacy and you don't have to go back and delete all the little posts that Google will do uh, if you go through the normal approach. And here's the Google Hangout that we created. So this is a private Hangout. Um, you can start it right there. And if you want to change it, you, as you can see, this is private right here. And if you want, you can change this to public or unlisted or whatever you want to do with it. But as it is right now, the only way to let somebody see this, if it's on private, is to invite them. So if I were to invite, well, I can invite me. Um, then this will send out an invite um, to me and enable me or whoever I send this to to be able to see this. And that is how you do a private hangout.